Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're ranking the top 10 best non-gambling point guards in NBA 2K24. My team starting up the positional rankings again. I'm gonna have all of the positions coming over the next week. Gambling and non-gambling lists, starting with non-gambling PGs today. Tomorrow will be gambling PGs and non-gambling shooting guards and so on and so forth throughout the rest of the week. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 30,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. Tons of consistent daily My Team content would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe and without further ado let's hop right into it so i will say this the non-gambling point guard position with the exception of the top one or two cards i don't think it's unbelievably elite like not the most s tier of s tier cards for the most part but that doesn't really matter that much in my opinion when you have some truly top tier cards at the top and i think there's okay depth and definitely some improved depth this season at this position as well so the best point guard in the game is non-gambling though so that part is nice and we'll get to him at the top of the list before we hop into the video if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the 30,000 subscriber mark on the channel i upload every single day tons of consistent daily my team content would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe without further ado number 10 starts off with a new pg from the season yes damian lillard is small but he is also damn damn good for a pg option um he's really fun to use release is awesome he's super undersized yes but his jumper really is super good um and i think he's a very very good card as a whole like i really think perfect stats pretty much perfect badges really nice release and perfect sigs you got yourself just a i mean he's got curry slides instead of jamal murray behind the back but as a whole pretty much perfect sigs and dame is he's that man his release is awesome he's fun to use yes he's small it's the reason he's at number 10 but he's a very very solid pg regardless number nine and number eight are some two older cards at this point sga at number nine is still very good he's still got great sigs with the jamal murray behind the back still has super solid stats and badges especially if you have a badged out version of sga but he's already pretty complete already a very solid card a six six decent size release is solid um tray fade is always nice it's not quite as good as pro 2 in my opinion this year but it's definitely good and then you got to release the air sigs that are pretty much perfect as well i mean he's a really really good card there's no doubt about it um and i think he's definitely still one of the better point guards in the game but he does in my opinion get get, get lower on lower on the list over time um clyde jackson's at number eight kind of the same thing really good card teensy bit outdated at this point but not really you know what i mean like he can definitely still compete at a very high level six at seven the one thing that clyde is missing is half handles for days my clyde has half handles for days and i think a lot of other people who still use clyde do have that badge on him on Hoff as well but overall really good card versatile defender again great sig super solid release pro two fade like everything you would want on a point guard pretty much really really solid option at number eight number seven is going to be Austin Reeves, who is uh, buyable from from last week, I believe. Um, really solid buyable PG. I mean, he's six foot five. He's got a decent player, but not amazing. But he, while he's a little undersized, his badges are very, very good. He's a capable defender. He's really, really elite everywhere else. He's obviously got top tier six as well. His release is on very quick pro two fade, and his release is really fast. He's got a very good upper, which helps his pro two to be faster as well. I think he's slightly better than SGA and Clyde. If you wanted to put him below those guys because of his being an inch or two shorter you could do that but i think the release gives him a slight edge and that's why he is this high on the list and honestly there's one other guy at number six who's just like austin reeves and that's bradley beal i feel like he's in the same exact category of yes he's undersized but his release is incredible his sigs are really good his badges are very complete and that's what bradley beal is as well very similar um only six four with a six eight wingspan but he's got all the badges in the world pretty much and he's uh, got a changed base as well iq base is really fast and really good um his animations as a whole are super solid although i will say brad beal leaner not bad but could be better i, I think you if you wanted to critique anything it'd be that and he's also is shorter than Reeves but my thing is I think his release might be even a little better than Reeves I don't know Reeves does have the better fade and his fade is one of the best in the game I'm switching this but these four guys I will say are relatively interchangeable I think this is how I would rank them right now though because Reeves and Beal just give me a little bit more of that true primary three hunter primary ball handle that I'm kind of looking for at the point guard position unless you have truly elite size now number five oscar robertson 100 overall free this card is not talked about very much he is the unlimited ring reward one of the ultimate unlimited ring rewards that came out this year he's six five six eight wingspan with an awesome release and basically perfect badges he's like a better bradley beal an inch taller similarly fast release better fade better both same elite sigs basically chemo escape instead of trey is still obviously one of the best escapes in the game uh maybe the best you could argue kimbo or 
Trey, but both of them are exceptional. And then, I mean, he's got every single key important badge in the game. Stats are all basically 99. Like, he is an absolute dog across the board. And I think he's a better Bradley Beal, better Austin Reeves, which puts him over this whole category and puts him in the top five among non-gambling point guards. Number four, we finally get some size with Nikola Jokic. Uh, but the thing about Joker is, despite his size, his biggest flaw is his animations. Jumper could be a bit faster. Sigs are not truly top tier at this point. But the size is at 6'11 with a 7'3 wingspan. The badges still are across the board. He is super versatile. His defensive value is much higher than anybody else that we've talked about on this list so far, quite simply because of his size. And I think um, in terms of a competitive level, if I have a primary shot creating point shooting guard or small forward, I'd rather have Jokic than any of the other PGs that we've talked about to this point on the list. And that's why he gets a top four spot, despite having a couple of legitimate flaws. Wes Unseld is like a smaller, but better, more skilled Jokic, better SIGs, better release, much better release. Yes, he's only listed at 6'7 with a 6'10 wingspan. The Afro makes him look 6'9. It does. And I think that's a big thing is he plays bigger than 6'7. He's a super versatile defender with elite level interior ability in addition to being a great perimeter defender as well. And he's got an exceptional release and he's super athletic. And his SIGs are also better than uh, Jokic's. Better behind the back, better escape. Still admittedly not unbelievable SIGs, but he is like a smaller but better Jokic. You could probably switch those two if you wanted to but I think he kind of gives you the same similar skill set but more so offensively than Jokic does and that's why I think Wes Unseld's probably number three now I will say number three and below don't really hold a candle to anybody top two although Mitch Richmond is is definitely in his own tier like when you're ranking non-gambling point guards it goes number one large gap number two not so large gap but still definitely a gap everybody else in my opinion because Mitch Richmond yes he's only 6'5 6 a wingspan he's basically Oscar Robertson but better his jumper is incredible his sigs are basically perfect and pro to fade but his jump shot is the thing to me that I just absolutely adore I feel like he is a better version of Oscar Robertson and one of the best cards in the game at the PG spot. I legitimately would take him number two right now. Uh, maybe not by a humongous chasm, but if you ask me who do I want between Mitch or somebody with more size like a Jokic, I'm taking Mitch because I truly trust him to be a legit primary ball handler if need be. Go watch the gameplay I dropped on this card if you're not sure about how good he is because he was hoping and showing out at a very high level. Um, really, really good card for sure in my team. That being said, number one is no debate. It's not even close. Head and shoulders above everybody else is point guard Kareem I understand you have to spend money to get this card by getting the pro pass with that being said that is a guaranteed way to get this card that is not gambling um he is not a gambling card just because he is a goat card because he's in the pro pass and he is insanely good I mean truly insanely good does everything extraordinarily well but most importantly he's seven foot two at the end of the day, even if he didn't have the best animations in the game, he'd still probably be the best point guard in the game because he's 7 for 2 with a 7.5 wingspan with every single stat and badge on Hall of Fame and on 99. I mean, the card is extraordinary. But then you get to having basically perfect SIGs and elite level release, honestly, especially for, like, I mean, it's, you know, he's, he's basically Jokic with perfect SIGs, Jokic with perfect badges, Jokic with perfect, uh, say, with perfect stats, and a much better release. And he's seven foot two, so he's three inches taller than Jokic. He is head and shoulders, not even close. The best point guard in the game, period, not just non-gambling. There is no debate whatsoever on the number one spot of this list. Kareem takes it by a landslide and is easily the best non-gambling point guard in the game. If you don't have him and you're still playing this game pretty often, you got to grind out that level 40 and get this card if you can. Um... Kareem's a dog. That's all I can really say. He is an absolute dog, without a doubt. Hope y'all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace.